In order to create a new site, you need to go to your hub, which is on accessible from the SD72 homepage, and click on My Hub. From here, this is your own personal hub right here. Right here, right underneath the classes, you are going to click on Create a Class. Enter in a tight title or a site title. So this could be something specific for your course itself, or it could be something that uh, your class is made up. Once you click there, you will be presented with a number of options to really customize your site. The first is the logo itself. So you can pick any of these logos down through here, or you can go to Google and find some really cool logos. You're going to save this on your desktop and go back to your website here and you're going to click on the camera icon. You're going to find it where you saved it on the desktop and you're going to insert it in. Then you can pick the colors that go with that. So that color looks about closest to here and then click next. The next window that brings up are these are going to be the things that can actually be seen on your site. So these are the features that you would like to include on your website. Now on the Scalantis and SharePoint site that I've created in the district portal, it goes through and explains many of these things. But I usually do assignments, student list with the student blogs. I do the portfolio if you're going to be doing the portfolio for your students and then I usually do featured links with image and featured stories and featured stories will allow you to have that scrolling um, pictures. Here you have a choice of what you want your home page to be and if you had blog selected and that's the only thing that you're going to use you could actually do it so that when the students clicked on your class site it would go right to your blog. Click next. Now this next feature here is giving people access to your site. I've created a whole video around giving student access to there but one additional thing that you can do is you can get give teachers, so say if you co-teach or would just like to have someone else have access to your site, or up top here your readers. There's a couple of things that we need to know about here. If you want your site just, just to be viewed by your students, you're going to add your students down here. If you want it to be a public site and um, have just your assignments and just your ePortfolios viewed by your students, then you can add the public site knowing that your featured stories with the pictures there will still be public. And I'm going to go finish. I haven't added any students yet because I have created another video around that. This takes a little bit of time here. And once it's done, it comes right to your site right here. Here's the blog that I wanted my home page to be. And then here's the home page that's that hosts the image links and the featured stories. I've included my assignment, which I will be doing another video on itself. And then here's my student list. And if I had my list of students right here, I would be able to access all my students, student information, blogs, portfolios, and their OneDrives.